Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to try another makeup look. This is how I do my uh, stage makeup. So let's go. Let's do it. This time na prep ko na yung skin ko, maglalagay na lang ulit ako nitong primer. Like I said, usually don't do, but kasi lately, medyo halos everyday ako nagme-makeup, so this is very useful. Kasi talagang dumidikit yung makeup. I did the thing already for the crease. You can watch the other video na lang. Pwede kong ilagay yung link kung saan nilagay ko yung paglalagay ko ng lace sa aking crease. Okay, so let's do this. Again, I, I only uh, put a little bit because it has this blurring effect in my chin and in my nose. At saka dito sa part na to kasi I find that yung pores ko mas malaki dito sa part na to. So again, foundation. Yung mukha ko may natural pinkish ano talaga siya, parang rosacea. Rosacea ba yung tawag dun? Parang it's like a skin condition so minsan um, hindi ko napapansin, Nag naglalagay ako ng tint. Ang pula-pula na pala ng mukha ko kasi meron na siya talagang parang medyo may pinkish na talaga siya. So, ito yung aking sponge. Um, binabasa ako siya kasi gusto ko lang matanggal yung mga excess na foundation. Ayoko yung heavy na feeling. And then, then we will color correct our eyes. Pwede na siyang concealer pero pang correct talaga siya. Pang color correct. A little bit there. Minsan dito din, pag medyo namumula yung nose ko, konti lang. And then a little bit of this. Nako yung iba kong mag-concealer, para bang gusto nyo nang i-conceal yung buong pagkatao nyo. <laughs> Kung wala naman talaga kayong kailangang i-conceal, you don't have to do this step. Kasi kaya nga saktawag sa kanya concealer dahil gusto mong may takpan. Ako kasi ang problema ko, yung bags ko, talagang nagiging dark siya. Today guys, it's not so bad but still may discoloration siya. Yung parang nag, para siyang nag-greenish, nag-bluish ng konti. Kasi meron ako mga veins sa part ng mata ko na yan. But for others, yung mga wala namang ganun, hindi nyo na kailangan mag-concealer. The less you can use na product, the better. Lalo na kung maganda naman ang skin ninyo. Mas maganda naman din yung natural paminsan-minsan, di ba? Again, I always set my foundation with powder kasi I find that if I don't, kumikilos po talaga kasi ang foundation. It's either kikilos or kinakain ng face nyo kaagad. So your tendency is you keep putting more. So the best way is, pag natapos ka na sa concealer, if set mo na yung concealer mo, iset mo na rin yung foundation mo. Para hindi paulit-ulit. Again, I just go over it again. Just to be sure na lalapat yung makeup sa skin. Contour. So, I'm gonna use a darker shade. Parang yung gusto ko yatang mag gumamit ng parang green. Maiba lang. Alam nyo, Yung iba na i-intimidate sa color. Dapat makakulay ng damit. Hindi, hindi necessary. You can use any color of eye makeup. It's like an accessory to your face. So it doesn't matter. Kung ano yung feeling mo na maganda at ma matutuwa ka sa feeling mo pagkasuot mo, okay yun. Go for it. And again, at the end of the day, if you think you messed it up and you made a mistake, you can always go back and fix it. Yun lang yung maganda sa makeup. You can experiment, you can use whatever color you like, and if you don't like it, you can erase it. Hindi siya parang life. Ang life pag ayaw mo, hindi mo pwedeng i-erase. By the way, you can mix whatever color. I find that uh, minsan kahit yung hindi bagay na kulay, pagdating sa mata, pagdating sa makeup, for some reason it works. Ang, ang technique talaga actually is for you to just blend it well. Blending is the key. Now, if I want the this part to be more, I want the color to come out more, I'll just 
dunk my brush sa konting tubig and then get the product. Suddenly, it's different. You can try other looks. Pero isa sa mga favorite ko sigurong makeup look is this, the, the smoky kind of look. Pero ito, ang ganda nitong green na to, isang isang shade lang yung ginagamit ko pero parang akala mo ang dami na kasi actually parang glittery siya. Pero parang pag inapply mo, depending sa bigat ng kamay mo, nag nag-iiba yung kulay niya. When you blend it, parang nagkakaroon siya ng gray. Ayun oh. Tapos para sa waterline natin. I'm gonna look for a different color this time. I want the copper one. See, yung copper and green, they won't usually go together. Like, I don't think they look good. Like, kung sa iba, kung sa damit yun. I don't know. I don't think it'll look good together, but sa eye makeup, for some reason, they look good. Ayan o, ba? Parang they go together. Pero gusto ko mas intense yung dito. So, lalagyan ko pa rin siya ng konting gray or gray ba or brown na lang. Sige, brown na lang. Alam mo, actually, nakaka, nakakaganda talaga siya ng mata. Kahit yata chinky eyes ka, kahit anong shape ng mata mo, ang ganda talaga ng smoky eyes. And then, again, you clean it up. And then, as you can see, wala tayo dun. So, lalagyan natin yan. Lalagyan natin ng medyo lighter, pero kakulay pa rin ni copper. Like ito. Lighter shade ng copper. Lalagyan natin dun. And now, since ganyan kakapal, ang ganda, di ba? Ganyan kakapal yung makeup ko, kailangan kong mag-lashes. So, tuturuan ko kayo kung paano gumawa, kung paano maglagay ng lashes. Parang ito, hindi ko kailangan putulin at maiklip. So, ito, tweezer lang to, pero parang it's specifically designed to use para sa mga lashes. Kasi naka-curve siya, you see? It's curved for the lashes, talaga. Now, it's very important to get a really good adhesive. Now, alam ko na madami din sa inyo na na-intimidate maglagay ng false eyelashes. It's really easy. Practice talaga makes perfect. The very few times I tried to also do this to to put uh, lashes for my, uh, on myself, hindi din naging madali for me. But, you know, since I've been doing it for 32 years, 32 na ba? 33? Siguro naman ngayon, kayang-kaya ko na. Kailangan nyo lang patuyuin ng context. Kailangan maging parang tacky siya para it's easier. Para pag ganun nyo, didikit agad. And then, put it in the middle as close to your own lashes as possible. Or, in my case, dyan sa aking, ano, ano tawag dyan? Extension. And then, yeah, ayan na siya. By the way, for those of you, kasi sobrang uso talaga ngayon ng extensions, lash extensions. You need to clean your eyes kasi pwede kayong magkaroon ng ano, ha, infection sa mata if you put makeup tapos hindi nyo thoroughly na nalilinis yung lashes, yung extension ninyo. Kailangan yung linisin. Soap and water lang naman. Soap and water, and then get a spoolie, maybe. Close your eyes, get a spoolie, lagyan mo ng soap and water, and then brush it. It's important kasi, syempre kung meron kayong extensions, pwedeng ma-infect kasi kung hindi nyo nalilinis. Kasi may maiiwan at may iwang makeup dyan. Or you can also use mouthwash. Ay, mouthwash na lang kaya ang gamitin ko. Kasi mouthwash, mouthwash, mouthwash is actually antiseptic. So you can also use that para hindi kayo masaktan. Ako kasi medyo ano ako eh. Hardcore ako eh. Gusto ko yung medyo masakit. Wow! <laughs> oh, ba? Dumilat na yung mata ko. Katapos nyan, we do the kilay! 
again, yung lagi kong binibilin sa inyo, huwag kayong mag-start dito. Mag-start kayo sa gitna. Ang kukulit nyo kasi. Para, para mas madali. Kasi kung kakadunk nyo lang, especially ng brush sa shadow or dun sa eyebrow palette ninyo, syempre dark pa yun. If you do it here, magda-darken ka agad siya. So, kaya nagkakamali tayo. And then, as far as the shape is concerned, just follow your own kilay. Hindi nyo naman kailangang i-reshape. Kasi, uh, yung eyebrow natin, very important. Kasi, yan yung parang, nag, siya yung anchor ng, ng face natin. Kung wala tayong kilay, parang ako, wala kayong emosyon. Um, maganda lang talaga nga sa, sa makeup. I know that a lot of you, kunwari yung may mga medyo may insecurities about their skin, you can hide it, but it's there to enhance what you already have. Hindi ba? Hindi naman yan talaga para takpan yung personality mo. Kasi hindi naman matatakpan ng makeup, no amount of makeup can cover up your personality, di ba? And actually, dapat hindi naman talaga ganun. Sayang naman yung personality mo. Dapat your personality should come out pa rin. Ang makeup, nandyan lang para to enhance what you already have. Ginagamit lang natin siya pang enhance ng beauty na meron ka na. Tapos, whatever you have in your brush there, kasi may matitira pa yan, you blend it in. And then, what I do is, I blend everything with, remember the the brush I use to contour to contour my nose and my eyes, yung parang ginawa kong base. I use that to just blend everything out. Tapos, I'm gonna use this to contour my cheek and my jawline. Tinuruan ko na kayo noon kung paano mag contour na hindi naman nakikita yung linya. So what you do is when you do this, pag nag-contour na kayo ng jawline, you blend it downwards. Para naka-blend siya. Di ba? Yung parang light to dark. Yeah. Para hindi ka parang parang din ruwingan ng brown dyan. Same thing with your cheeks. Siyempre, i-blend mo din. Um, the reason why I keep using the brush or the powder at the end is because I want everything to blend. I don't want ev yung parang may line ka na ganun. I want everything to blend. That's why at the end of whatever, like sa, sa mata, di ba bineblend ko siya ulit? Kasi gusto ko yung para bang from dark nagiging light. Ganun! Ganun! Tapos para may pang added ano, pang twinkling ng mata. Ito, trick to ng mga makeup artist talaga. Na pwede nyo gamitin. Actually, kahit simple-simple lang pwede. Find a really light, 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 light color. Ito, gusto ko tong copper na to. Put it in the, the corner of your eye. And then, another light Lighter pa than that one, you put here. Ah, pala, meron akong tip sa inyo. Pag nagmi-makeup kayo pala, mahirap kasi kung ganito lang, di ba, yung makeup. Manginginig talaga yung kamay mo. So, what I usually do is that I use my pinky. And then, you can pretty much control the hand that's using the brush, uh, that's holding the brush. Hindi manginginig yung kamay niya. Yan ang secret ng mga makeup artist. Nax. Oh, di ba? Lipstick na lang. I think we're gonna do the lighter color this time. Kasi nga, dark yung eyes. Actually, pwede din ito ng medyo mas um, darker. Like, uh, siguro sa side ng pink. Kasi yung green bagay sa pink. Or pwede din sa, sa red, pero wag yung masyadong parang brownish na red. Mas, mas red-red lang, yung parang ganito lang. Bagay din siya. But for today, I like it light lang. And this is the look I've created for you guys. I hope you like it. 
it's um, it's a smoky green ice kind of look na medyo frosted pero maganda kasi yung pagka green i use this one oh kasi para siyang merong uh, parang may pagka mix ng gray yung pagka ano niya pagka green niya and and i love it and then i also use this one para dun sa upper part and dun sa uh, uh, sa waterline and there you have it. This is the look that I have for you. I hope you like it and I hope you enjoy this makeup and I hope you get to do it, you get to try it. Uh, don't be afraid of colors. You guys can experiment. Don't be afraid. Kasi kung magkamali kayo, Ano, what's the worst that can happen, diba? You can always just erase it and do it again. So, this is for like an evening date maybe, or or uh, uh, if you have like a big party. Ayan, uh, ano yung mga ball, mga ganyan, ito bagay yan. It's a smoky green eyes look. And I hope you guys will like it. Try it! Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Maraming maraming salamat for watching. See you guys next time. Thank <laughs> you.